Hey, Tom here from TechieDIY.com and in this video tutorial I will show you how to connect a MailChimp campaign to a Facebook page so that your email campaign will automatically post to your organization or business Facebook page. Now if you use MailChimp you know that it can post to a Facebook personal wall but cannot automatically post to a Facebook page wall but we can get around this limitation by using a service called Twitter feed. Here we have the Facebook page created for the organization National Indian Justice Center. You can see here there are a number of posts that are coming from the Twitter feed service. There's a little yellow icon here. That's the Twitter feed icon. So these are coming from MailChimp and are being posted automatically. We click on one of these. Here's the web version of an email that just went out. So let me show you how I set this up. First we go over to twitterfeed.com and sign up for an account if you don't already have one. I already set up an account for the National Indian Justice Center, so I'm just going to log in. Twitter feed's a great service that will take an RSS feed and use it to update social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook. Once you have an account and sign in, you can set up a new feed. As you see here, in this account, I have a number of feeds already set up for different MailChimp campaigns. You also might notice that I have these campaigns automatically posting to Twitter and Facebook. So let's create a new feed. To create a new feed, we just need the RSS address for the campaign we want to add. To get that information, we need to go over to MailChimp. So sign into MailChimp and go over to Campaigns. I'm going to look for a campaign that I have not added to Twitter feed yet. Here's one right here. If you click on the campaign item, you get the campaign overview page. And from here, over here on the left, there's a link that says Campaign Archive. If you click this, you'll get the last message that was sent out in the campaign. Now from here, up here in the top left corner, there's a little link that says RSS. This is what we're after. So you can click on it to get the address. If you're using Firefox, you can just right click and do copy link location. Or you can click on the link and open up the feed in a new window and copy the link address from the address bar. Let me move this down so you can see that what it looks like. So you can just highlight it here. And you can copy it this way too. Okay. Now we need to head back over to Twitter feed. And we need to click create new feed. And down here where it says blog URL or RSS feed URL, we can go ahead and paste in that feed address we just copied. And it's probably a good idea to click this test RSS feed button just to make sure everything works OK. Feed parsed OK. So that looks good. We need to give our feed a name. It can be any name you like. Uh, I'm going to go over back to MailChimp and I'm just going to copy the name of the campaign and use that. Paste that in. Okay, good. Now over here under advanced settings, you'll probably want to change a few of these. The update frequency is how often 
Twitter feed will check your campaign to see if there are new items. And depending on how often your campaign is sending out messages, you probably only need to have Twitter feed check your campaign once or twice a day. This other option here will post one item by default. That's the newest item it finds in your campaign, or your feed rather. But you can change this to post the last two items, or the last three, four, and so on. So for this campaign, the most recent one item is, is fine. Now over here under post content, for MailChimp campaigns, I recommend changing this to title only instead of having title and description. The reason for that is MailChimp RSS feeds contain some things in the description that doesn't need to be posted. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go back over to the National Indian Justice Center Facebook page. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll see some posts that I did where I was posting the description. Here we go. So if you can read this, you can see right here it says email, not displaying correctly, and some other information that is formatted very poorly. And you can see it's the same for a, a few other posts where I was posting the description. This is, to me, this is really ugly. So to fix that, I changed the post content over here in Twitter feed. I changed it from title and description to title only. And if we look, after I made that change, the posts look much cleaner. See the difference? None of that other garbage that was in the description. So I hope you can see uh, the difference there. So for MailChimp, I recommend title only. For other feeds, having title and description might be fine. These other settings you don't really have to worry about. For this demonstration, I'm not going to explain them all. I will mention this post prefix and post suffix are very interesting features. If you like, you can add a message to the beginning or the end of your posts. So that's a really nice feature to have. In this case, I don't need to use them. So we can click down here on continue to step two. Now here's where we connect our RSS feed to a Facebook page. You can see the other social networks here that can automatically be posted to. But for this demo, we're just going to do Facebook. So I'll click Facebook here. The next step is to click the Connect with Facebook button. Since I'm already logged in to Facebook, it automatically detected that. If you're not logged in, you'll just be asked to enter your name and password and probably there will be a button that says allow Twitter feed to connect with Facebook. Since I use Twitter feed all the time, I guess that's why I didn't get that confirmation. So you can see my name is here. It recognizes me. Now here's the very important and very cool part. So down here by default, this campaign is going to publish to my personal wall. But instead, if I click this drop down, I can see all the Facebook pages that I have administrative access to. So in this case, I want to select the National Indian Justice Center. Okay, so just now we saw a little request for permission flash up, but I didn't need to select anything for some reason probably because I set up those other campaigns, but in your case, you might be asked to click the allow button. And that's basically it for connecting to Facebook. So this is the page that my MailChimp campaign is going to post to. So down here we have some UTM tag settings. You don't need to worry about this. These are for tracking purposes. If you want to track clicks and how many people are reaching your content from what URLs, this is a nice feature to have, actually, but beyond the scope of this demonstration. So when we're all done, we just click down here, Create Service. And if you want to add other services, 
you can do so at this point, but I just wanted to add Facebook, so I'm going to click All Done. Okay, now we can uh, head back to the dashboard. So back at the dashboard here, let's see the new feed I set up. And, okay, it's on another page because I've got so many of these now. Okay, here we go. So this is the new one that I just set up. It's going to Facebook. Now at this point, I can click Check Now, and we can kind of do a little test here. Just need to give it a minute. Let me refresh the page. Okay, so I can tell right here by this little message, it looks like it posted something. Let's head back over to our Facebook page. And... Okay, the last post was done two hours ago, so let's refresh the page. And here we go. This one came in about a minute ago from Twitter feed. Sierra Cascades dialogue session. And that was the most recent post. So this is set up and working fine. Click on the link. Let's check it out. Excellent. Very nice. So you can see Twitter feed is a very useful service. I use it all the time for all kinds of different projects. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this particular campaign to Twitter. So you can go ahead and watch over my shoulder as I do that. It'll only take a minute. So to make changes, let me back up. Sorry about that. To make changes to any campaign, I'll show you. Each of these campaigns has an edit button, or link, rather. And so any one of these, I can change at any time. I can turn on or off these other services, Facebook, Twitter, and some of the others. So for this new one, I'm going to click Edit, and I'm going to add Twitter. I don't need to change anything here, so I'll go to Continue to Step 2. And you can see Facebook is here. It's active. Let me add Twitter by clicking on it. And the same thing we did when we added Facebook. So you can click this big blue button here. I might already have... Yeah, I've got it already set up. I already have the, the NIJC Twitter account. Because I've used it before, it shows up in this drop-down. But if you didn't, you would just click on the blue button, and then you would log in. And then click the Allow button. Okay, so I'm connected. And I click the Create Service button, just like I did when I added Facebook. I can see Facebook is active, Twitter is active, all done. So that's it for this video. I hope that you have found it very helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with me over at techiediy.com. Thanks for watching.